Hey everyone, this is Lethal3585. Um, doing a brief educational video on using the Elgato Game Capture HD um, to stream both PS4, PS3, and kind of how to bounce back and forth um, if you have issues with that based on the configuration. Uh, so I'm going to start off with two systems actually hooked up at the same time um, through it, and I can just kind of bounce back and forth with the configuration to show which, which image will come into OBS. Um, funny enough, I'm actually using the same controller to control both at the same time also. Um, if you hook a PS4 controller via the USB cord to the PS3 after you've actually effectively turned on your PS4 with that same controller, uh, the movements will control both systems at the same time. So you can do some funny stuff with that as well, but uh, that's kind of beside the point. So first let's show some images of the uh, Game Capture HD. Now this is the original model. So right here we have the HDMI out and the USB out. So obviously the HDMI out, you can go to your TV. Um, the USB is going to go to your computer, which I currently have hooked up right now. Um, and then right there, the AV in, that's going to be for the PS3. So don't have an HDMI out of your PS3. Have that just the AV in that comes with the Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, and then use the other HDMI, which would be like your PS4 or your other systems aside from a PS3. Um, so that's kind of the gist of the hookup. So as we'll just kind of bounce through these um, one more time um, until we get back to that AV Part. There we go. So PS4 is in the HDMI in, and the PS3 is in the AV in. Now, when this originally launched, the PS3 AV in only did 1080i. However, they have updated it since to 1080p. Uh, there was some issues with it not working on certain monitors or, or TVs and whatnot, depending on what the, the inputs it could take. So um, that rectified that for the most part. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Now, right now I'm choosing a window cap. Uh, so that's why we have the glorious window within a window within a window forever. Um, and I have the Game Capture HD actually, you know, as you can see, um, hidden right now. So let's pop that up. Um, so right now we're looking at what Uber Giant. I must have messed with the size. Let me shrink that down a little. Uh, Uber Giant version of the PS4 screen right there. Okay. Um, so right there, we'll just hide this over here so that way it doesn't really hide any of our other stuff around the outside. Um, so here's my, my PS4 screen. I'm toggling through like so. Um, so what you want to do at this point to um, switch back and forth, um, it's not just simply hooking the PS3 up to the, the capture card and being good to go. Um, what you have to do is go down here with your Game Capture HD. Let me get this a little bit more out of the way so it's not blocking anything. There we go. Uh, right there. Right click on that. So what you're going to do is go into uh, your properties and then hit configure video. You can configure video, you get this screen pops up right here. I might be blocking it since I'm using one screen to cap all this. What I'm going to do, you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, is I'm going to rehide the game image for now, like so. Um, so we can go back into this. So as you can see, here we go properties. Oop, 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 wrong one. There we go. Properties on Game Capture HD. And then hit configure video. So that's going to pop up right there. Um, move this over a little bit. So it's not blocking anything. So we'll just put it in. We'll put it over there. Why not? It's fine. And then we'll go ahead and click on it. So this is the screen that's going to pop up when you configure video right here. Um, so right now it has your settings for PS4. And all these settings below are based on your PS4. So you can have individual settings per input that you select for your device. Um, so at this point what we're going to do is uh, go down here and click on PS3. Like so. Now it's updated to PS3 at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, and hit done. So now these, you can see these uh, settings down here change as well. Um, based on the, you know, the input settings I have for the PS3. So hit done. So now you're good to go. Switched over. As you can see right here. Switched over my, my image to the PS3. Also same controller I'm using right now. We'll control that just because this wonky kind of setup. Um, so you can hit OK. So now if I go back over here, unhide that. Now we're looking at the PS3 imaging right there. So that configuration is the most important part. Now, however, you don't want to change anything as far as what's connected to your, your capture card um, with OBS open or whatever stream um, app that you're using um, because it, it has to reload the input as a source um, and you'll have issues. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the capture card um, from... Uh, the laptop and then connect it again so that way um you can kind of see what happens with that so 
So we'll go ahead and disconnect this here. So now we have no device at all, right? Um, so with both these things connected, and then I connect this now that OBS is already open, uh, chances are you're going to get this one moment screen. So the image came back up on my TV. I can see my PlayStation fine there. Um, you know, I can still change my configurement to go back and forth between PS3, PS4 on the TV, but I cannot get anything available um, on the PC at this point in time or the laptop, whatever you're using, because I, I use a laptop. So. Um, so just make sure you have it connected whatever way you want to connect it before um, you turn OBS on. So that way it's ready to go. It loads in the proper source, um, and then you can do your adjustments from there. Um, also, when you do uh, change your your, your configurement when you hit configure video uh, that'll only work when your your um, capture card is hooked up to your, your computer laptop whatever you're using uh, otherwise it won't nothing will happen like it'll pop up and it'll be an uneditable page so I won't be able to do this with these drop downs it'll be blanked out so you click on it nothing will happen so make sure you're connected to do that um, but I mean I could bounce back and forth right now but chances are uh, it will not give me anything here um, simply because the uh, Capture card was disconnected and reconnected while OBS was open. So um, obviously I can't close out OBS and reopen it to show that uh, being an effective way to fix the problem because then it would stop the recording. But um, that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. So if, uh, if you have any other questions or comments, concerns, let me know. And hopefully I can answer um, whatever you have going on.